Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. Uh, we'll be having our regular Saturday live stream that we started about two years ago. We started it mainly because um, it was another disappointing end of the season and with channel members we wanted to give them the opportunity to talk about the cowboys and it's kind of evolves as time goes on in the off season where you know the the feeling of being down and disgusted turns into optimism and eventually to could this be the year um and that's how it's been yeah it is you know you know you guys you know this is this is the cycle by the time we get to training camp the expectations will be we're going to the Super Bowl. We're going to the Super Bowl and only to be disappointed again. At least, you know, and I'm not sure still how I feel about Micah Parsons and everybody out there having their shows and everything else. You know, I, I feel like if you are a player, if you have an opportunity, in fact, let me do it this way. Let's, let's deal with numbers. What are there, about 8 billion people in the world right now? We are at Super Bowl 58. The reason why I know it's Super Bowl 58, and I, and, and I always know how old I am because it's the year of the Super Bowl. So I am 58 years old, so that means this is Super Bowl 58. Let's say we got 53 men on a roster times 58. That's about 3,000, a little bit north of 3,000, but it's not really 3,000 because you think about Terry Bradshaw. He's one of those guys that have four. Those Steeler teams, multiple years, Mean Joe Green and those guys. So when you start doubling up, when you think about the Cowboys there, we got three and four years, um, there's not 3,000 people that have been Super Bowl champions out of the 8 billion people that are here currently. But even that number is skewed because you got to count all the people that have already passed away that were during that era. Needless to say, this isn't the 1%. This is probably the 1,000th of 1.1%. They're very few and far between. And my advice would be is, think about it like this. You have, on average, four years in the NFL, if you're lucky. Um, maybe you have a 10-year or 15-year career. That is the time that you are busting your ass if you get to be one of those guys that have that ring we're talking about immortality now for a guy like me or most people we have to work until we're like 62 i think is that the retirement age 62 if you're lucky they're trying to bump it up so it goes up to like 70 now you know and all that right uh, you know we've got to work till then to have a retirement if you bust your ass for that five or ten years and you get that ring, you can do anything you want. You can buy yourself a yacht and sail the world. You can be a podcaster. You can just do absolutely nothing. You are retired with status of being one of those 3,000 guys. One of those 3,000 guys. You know, and I'm sitting down here because we're getting ready for the Super Bowl party and things. You know, typically here in the studio, I actually have three TVs that are crossed on the bookcases in front of me. But since football season's over and we're not doing Sunday ticket, it's kind of cray cray to have two TVs there that aren't. So I took one of those down to the Red Brick House and I put the other one up behind me. And what's crazy is I had the last joyous time last joyous game that we had which was against the commanders and i tell you what's funny is i'm sitting there watching and i see um an interception by the cowboys and i see demarcus lawrence you know he's up in there he's instru uh, instrumental, instrumental 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 on the play he starts out on the outside he hits the guy he recoils he comes back he loops around and he ends up hitting sam how to help cause the interception. And I'm looking at the guys when they made the interception, they're running down the field to the end zone. They're celebrating. They mollywop the commanders and things. And I'm trying to understand how they got tired from that Sunday game to playing the Green Bay Packers. No, uh-uh. 
Well, I can see you on that camera, but it's not part of it. No, I was enjoying the view, actually. It's chest high. <laughs> you are just, I'm just nasty. You know, just nasty. Okay, anyway, there's a camera that's right there, and my beautiful bride of 20 years. I don't know, it might not be 21 the way I'm talking right now. It might be the end of the marriage. But be that as it may, somehow, some way, they got tired between Molly Bop in Washington to the first play against Green Bay. But be that as it may. Here's what's interesting, going back to Micah Parsons and his podcast. One of the things that was that we heard so much about from Philly 500 was how much Micah Parsons wanted to be an Eagle because last off season, which was another disappointment, he was wearing a Philadelphia 76ers shirt. It was like, Oh, Michael wants to be an Eagle. Michael wants to be, Oh, he wants to be an Eagle. And I said, bro, that ain't the case. I remember interviewing his dad, his dad basically said, no, he always wanted to be a Dallas Cowboy. He didn't want to be an Eagle. In fact, he was mad at the thought of them drafting him. And so last night on the edge from the Super Bowl, that's right, we got Cowboy players at the Super Bowl, he was talking to Jordan Love, who's the enemy, mind you, about that thing. I'm going to play the audio for it, and let's listen in. Before he went to the Vikings, he was in Miami. And he was like, you know, we like you. He was like, you, you, you are type of guy. So, you know, I was like, oh, there's a chance in Miami. Detroit came to my pro day and was like, man, if you at number eight, we taking you. Like they, t- he's like, you ready to be drafted to the Detroit Lions? I'm like, oh, like cool. Um, the Lions to the, the to the Lions. Before, it was like, yeah. Um, they said uh, Dallas is taking Pat. I was like, Fuck. I was like, damn. Yeah. And day before that, and, and the day of, it was like you might have a chance with the Broncos because Vaughn and mm-hmm. you know they was on a uh, way. So. I was like, man, like, there's only certain teams. And they said, you could go to Philly, but I skipped my Philly interview. People don't know that. He skipped his Philly interview. I didn't want to stay home. Didn't want to stay home. Like, true story. Like, Dave called me, like, yo, you dealing with all this off the field stuff, and you're not even going to talk to Philly? Like, I didn't want to go home. So, like, when Philly fans, like, talk to me, like, man, you should come to Philly. I'm like, bro, I I do not want to be. Why you ain't want to play at home? You bro, it's, a, it's a lot, bro. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably know. When you, you, when you at the there, crib, everybody want to come. Yeah, everyone yeah. being in mix, like yeah. the influence to always want to go back home. Like you, at some point, you just gotta be a man. Like I wanted to get fresh. Like, yeah. and you gotta think, I went to Penn State. Like it was time for me to get out of PA. Yeah. So it's time to get out of PA. So I know that's a, that. That was a great experience, bro. I ain't get that. Yeah, it was time to get out of PA because you know. <laughs> I think about Dwayne Haskins because he was from D.C. And he got drafted by the Commanders. And he spent a lot of time hanging out with his friends and the drama that was off the field and hanging in the club and stuff and never really got himself together. And tragically, uh, he's passed away. But you started him once he went to uh, the Steelers. When he got away from his home base and his friends and everything else, he was beginning to turn his career around. And so there is a lot to that about going away. That's what I say. You know, when you go to college, don't go to the college where you're going to be. No, you get the college experience. Now, I got too much of the college experience. Maybe I've been better off had I been closer to home. But be that as it may, it did lead me to that vision of loveliness over there so it wasn't all bad going away and lord knows i learned how to party didn't get much of an education but i did know how to party all right good people so philly 500 the dream is dead of micah parsons playing as an eagle at least we've got that all right good people i'll see you at the live stream uh in about an hour And hopefully you guys are having a great day. Just waiting for the next shoe to drop for the Dallas Cowboys because it's just been butt ugly around here. Well, actually, it's not butt ugly. It's actually pretty nice. But if you can see the look she's giving me right now.